everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm making pot roast in the instant pot if you guys want to know how to make this hit that subscribe button and watch me cook this is a really simple pot roast recipe that I learned from a friend a long time ago and I made it in the crock pot but I never liked it from the crock pot I just didn't understand why people like pot roast but today I kind of understood why I am making this the simplest way possible for you so that you guys can make this and it'll just be a really fast dinner I mean the cooking time it'll be a little bit longer but everything else is going to be really fast and super simple I am using two and a half pounds of just chuck roast you can use brisket that's even really good you can use the round roast whatever roast it is that you want to use you can this also works for up to five pounds of this so you can use two and a half pounds to five pounds if it's fatty, great. If it's not and you want to trim it, you can do that as well. I like to keep the fat. I didn't really have too much on there, so I'm just going to keep what is on there. But I am seasoning it by taste, just as much or as little as you want, with salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning. And that's it. If you guys saw it earlier, I did press that saute button so that it would be nice and hot by the time I had my seasoning taken care of and I threw my butter right inside of the pan. So this way we're going to just melt the butter all the way around inside the pan just move it around a little bit and then we're just going to sear our meat inside of the instant pot ourselves you don't have to use a separate pan for this which is nice if you don't want to sear it you don't have to but it's supposed to help lock in all the flavors and keep it nice and moist when you do cook your rump roast inside of your pot again i'm letting mine cook for about you can cook it up to two minutes one to two minutes per side I am doing one minute on the first side and I'm just going to do another a minute and a half to two minutes on the second side. I knew I was going to flip my meat back over which is why I only did one minute on the one side because I wanted my fatty side on top because I want the fat drippings to fall into the meat as it cooks. Okay this is where it's going to be super duper simple. All you're doing is adding one of those Lipton's Secret Recipe onion mix powders right inside of the pot. Then grab your au jus gravy powder mix and throw that right inside the pot as well. You can find this in a gluten free form and so that's the beauty of all of this. This is all great for those that are sensitive to gluten just like I am. But go ahead and empty both your packets right inside of the pot and then you're going to grab two cups of water and throw that right in there. There is no need to mix anything around. You just throw it all in there and all we're going to do is just close it up. Make sure you have it sealed in the back. Press cancel in the front and then we're going to pressure cook this for one hour and 30 minutes. 90 minutes total. I know it's longer than most but it does work this way and it's faster than the crock pot or your oven. Since I wanted everything done beforehand in the next 90 minutes I went ahead and made my cornstarch mix and I chopped up and peeled my potatoes into large chunks like this and I put it in water and set it aside so that it doesn't brown during the 90 minutes while it is cooking and through the magic of editing I went ahead and cut all the 90 minute wait for you guys out but we opened this right up and I went ahead and drained all the liquid out from my potatoes they are not brown as you can see and I'm gonna pour that right in there I'm also grabbing one bag, 16 ounce bag of baby carrots and I'm pouring that all right in there and then we're just going to pressure cook this um, for five minutes now and then your meal is pretty much almost done. Oh, if you ever doubt whether or not all the steam is done coming out of your instant pot, I wanted to show you guys this. Watch that red button. It's sticking out right now and when it's done, it went right in. If you never knew, I didn't know, I just noticed and I had to share that with you guys because I couldn't believe I've never noticed it before. So this way you never know, you're, I mean, you don't have to try to force the lid off yourself and you can just wait and know when it's ready to open up. All right, let's get back to the food here. Everything is done cooking, the potatoes and the onions, the five minutes is all that it needed and it's all fully cooked through, it's soft, it's amazing. All you're gonna do is just empty out your pot from the vegetables Put it onto a plate because we're going to put our meat on top of the vegetables and then once that's done, oh be careful with your meat by the way because it's going to be super moist and tender and it's going to fall apart like you see it in here in the video. Alright so let's go ahead and make sure all of our meat and our vegetables are emptied out from the pot because we're going to make our gravy. Press that cancel button and then push the saute button on your instant pot because we're going to start with our tablespoon oh actually it was two tablespoons of cornstarch and two tablespoons of water to thicken up the sauce that was sitting inside of the pot 
As you can see, the mixture did get firm because it's been sitting out for like nearly two hours at this point. And if you keep moving it around, it will eventually liquefy so you can make your gravy mix in there. You're going to want a whisk for this part. A fork is not going to cut it. So grab your whisk and stir it around and then I'll give you guys a better view. And when it's all nice and bubbly from the saute button, then you know your gravy is done. Go ahead and set your gravy aside into a separate bowl or gravy boat. And this was literally the best pot roast I've ever eaten in my entire life. The Instant Pot is just killing me. If you guys love this recipe as much as I did, please hit that subscribe button. And thank you for watching Watch Me Cook.